Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 28th of November, Monday of the week of Advent 1. Soren Kierkegaard, 1813-1855. To pray in the name of Jesus may perhaps be explained most simply of all in this way. A magistrate orders this and the other thing in the name of the king. What does that mean? In the first place, it means I myself am nothing. I have no power, nothing to say from myself, but it is in the name of the king. Thus, to pray in the name of Christ means I dare not approach God without a mediator. If my prayer is to be heard, then it will be in the name of Jesus. What gives it strength is that name. Next, when a magistrate gives a command in the name of the king, it naturally follows that what he commands must be the king's will. He cannot command his own will in the king's name. The same thing is true of praying in the name of Jesus. To pray in such a way that is in conformity with the will of Jesus. I cannot pray in the name of Jesus to have my own will. The name of Jesus is not a signature of no importance, but the decisive factor. The fact that the name of Jesus comes at the beginning is not prayer in the name of Jesus, but it means to pray in such a manner that I dare name Jesus in it. That is to say, think of him. Think his holy will together with whatever I am praying for. Finally, when the magistrate gives an order in the name of the king, it means that the king assumes a responsibility. So too with prayer in the name of Jesus. Jesus assumes a responsibility and all the consequences. He steps forward for us, steps into the place of the person praying. <coughs> Excuse me. Laurentus Petri, 1499-1573. We pray thee, dear Heavenly Father, that thou wilt vouchsafe to look graciously upon all folk, whether they be our own people or of other lands, whether they be known or unknown, yea, whether they be friends or enemies, but more especially those that are our brothers and sisters in the faith, and chiefly them that are in any necessity and danger, bodily or spiritual, in error, grievous sins under the torment and temptation of the devil, in doubtfulness, faint-heartedness, or in patience, in poverty in one, in sickness, pain, and suffering, grief, anxiety, in prison or in peril on the sea. Likewise, we pray that thou wilt take care of all poor widows, fatherless and motherless children, women in pregnancy, and women laboring of child, of all in any necessity, who need and desire thy fatherly help, that thou wilt have compassion upon all these. Help, strengthen, comfort them, to the end that all folk, both now and forever, may praise and glorify thee. Amen.